What's up, what's up everybody? We got some new developers notes in Summoner's War. Let's go take a look at what they are. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna read to you. Aren't you excited? Yeah, Jubagel the Read Monster, the Reading Monster, <laughs> the Reading Monster. Okay, reading some calm to us. Uh, real time arena, blah blah. Uh, three this time. Oh, quick match feature. Okay, cool. Real time arena is gonna have a quick match. That's nice, so you don't have to harass everyone. That's cool. Uh, this time there will be three developers' notes about the Rift Dungeon. There are five locked areas surrounding the Rift uh, Raid and Rift World. As you may have already noticed, the new dungeon will be available. This dungeon has unique characteristics compared to other dungeons. Uh, by new dungeon, they really mean the five. They mean I think they're coming out all at the same time. I'm not sure. Uh, but... Let's say, try, okay, Rift Dungeon details. Try to inflict max damage. In the, why does the world boss care? <laughs> in the Rift of Worlds dungeon, you'll be collecting the rewards solely based on the amount of damage you inflict on the boss, regardless of whether you clear the dungeon or not. In other words, the more damage you inflict, the more rewards you get. Why are we, sh why are we looking at a picture of the world boss? Okay. Uh, so, we don't need to clear the ne the next dungeons we just need to do lots of damage that seems weird okay so i guess we're putting tashar in all the teams now i guess we're putting tashar and uh <laughs> and burna let's see let's see let's see now it's possible to defeat the boss completely if you're strong enough however the rift of worlds boss will be revived three times and the bosses and the boss will become stronger each time he's revived uh, the boss can also escape if you fail to completely defeat him during the designated phase. Okay, so... He can escape? He's just gonna fly away, I guess? Okay. He's like, no, you hit me too much, you're hurting me, I'm gonna stop. Uh, you're able to inflict damage when the boss is in a groggy state, so it's crucial to inflict as much damage as possible during this time. I understand the word groggy may sound unfamiliar to you, but I'll explain more on that below. It doesn't really... It doesn't really sound unfamiliar. It's like when the, uh, when the, the TOA 100 boss goes in the groggy, you're like, ugh, like, stunned and like, ugh, what's going on, what's going on? You don't do extra damage to her, but, um, but yeah, that's not, that shouldn't be too... Unless it's completely different. Okay, the Rift of Worlds boss is immune to arm, uh, arm harmful effects. All harmful effects. And also has... That's great! Uh, so what, we're gonna have to buff ourselves up, we're gonna have to attack buff and crit resist and immunity and defense buff on ourselves instead of trying to debuff the enemy. And what does this mean, that ignore defense is gonna be real strong too? Maybe. Uh, also has different attack bar and skill usage. Please take a look at the images below for more info. Uh, when the boss is attack bar, doesn't that look like the, doesn't that look like the samurai skill? One of, one of the samurai skills, that little blast thing with the slash through it, it looks like a... I think that, if I remember correctly, it looks like a samurai skill. Uh, when the boss's attack bar reaches where the skill icon is, the skill will be activated. Gotcha! So, every time the boss moves, like, throughout the course of time... Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Why is that, why is that changed, though? Why is that changed from he just activates a skill every time his attack bar is at 100. What's the... I'm trying to think what the difference... how that would make the gameplay different. Can we still... if he's immune to all harmful effects, we can't attack each decrease him, I'm assuming. So... That's curious. This will be activated when the attack age reaches the end, the boss will use his ultimate skill, and the attack bar will be reset. This process will be repeated. Okay, so don't let him use his ultimate, right? Uh, you may be wondering why the attack power- Yes, I am! Why it has changed so much from the current attack power uh, pattern, but this was intended due to the Rift Dungeon battle process, so keep reading! I will! Let the boss fa fall in groggy state before his ultimate skill is activated. Uh, since the boss ultimate skill can destroy the whole party, it is important to prevent the boss from activating the ultimate skill. No duh. One of the ways to prevent him from using the ultimate skill is to defeat the boss by reducing his entire HP before he uses the ultimate skill. Uh, he will fall into the groggy state and his attack bar will also reset. And then he can get debuffs? Because it looks like he's got debuffs there. How do we get him into groggy state? 
How do we how do we do Groggy State though? Uh because he looks like he's okay, so we gotta get him into Groggy State and then nuke him down super fast. Cause we're seeing some nuke monsters. Although we're still we're seeing Rena, so I don't I don't even know. Groggy State will remain in effect for a designated time until the boss restores the HP. However, while the boss is in Groggy State, he'll be in f Okay, I'll take more damage. So we wanna nuke this, right? So this is like, don't try to take forever on this. This is like, nuke, 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 nuke. F Why is there a bear with his ass on fire? That's great. Four groggies required for a knockout. When the groggy time is over, the boss will become even stronger. The battle will re restart. Okay. Uh, the battle lasts until all allies are defeated, but you can completely defeat the boss if you make him fall in groggy state four times. So the battle lasts until all allies are defeated, but if you're good enough, you can completely defeat the boss. So we get, like, going back to what we said at the beginning, we, it doesn't matter if we defeat the boss, it just matters how much damage we do to the boss to get the best rewards. So we want to get tons and tons of damage on him. So we want to just nuke the crap out of him, right? We want attack buffs and we want nuke and we want nuke and we want nuke. Uh, because even if we don't, even if we all die, we, it still seems like it would be the best, uh, best rewards that way. Special tips for the Rift Dungeon. Five dungeons, Fire, Water, Wind, Light, Dark will be open. We mentioned that before a long time ago, that the things look like they correspond to Fire, Water, Wind, Light, Dark. Uh, you must consider the attribute relations in order to strategize your battle wisely. So you want nukers of multiple different kinds, multiple different elements, I see. We can enter all five dungeons at all times. Okay, so this is gonna be like, like Hall of Wind, Hall of Water, Hall of Magic, Hall of, well not Hall of Magic, but uh, Hall of Wind, Water, Fire, Light, Dark, uh, but it's gonna be Rift style. In addition, each boss has different skills and ultimate skills. For example, a boss might summon various bomb monsters that will automatically explode. Okay, like the Hall of Fire, or might grant harmful effects that can be removed only when the ally's HP is recovered. Grant, hold on. Grant harmful effects that can only be removed when the ally's HP is fully recovered. So you need like some huge healer, is that what we're seeing? That there's gonna be one where you need a huge healer, otherwise your allies are like, slow or attack power down or something hmm that's an interesting mechanic that's new similar to the raid special effects will be activated according to how you place your allies in front of the back line so make sure you strategize your battle carefully yeah i don't know if it's going to still be defense based uh monsters on the front line or if it's going to be totally different maybe it'll be totally different uh, maybe it'll be speed based maybe it'll have who knows who knows who knows rift dungeon reward the following is a list of rewards available from the rift dungeon uh, various material items for the new content craft. Okay, various material items to make new runes. To make new runes! Okay, so you're not gonna- you're gonna continue to give us shit runes, and then if we want something good, we have to make them now. Okay, thanks. Various material items that can be used to summon and strengthen new content. Homunculus. Summon and strengthen. Okay, so these are two big- the, Big important words, summon and strengthen. What are we summoning now? Summon and strengthen and summon and level up and power up. That's curious, that's curious, okay. That's something I'm really interested in seeing. Craft, what are we crafting? Cause it says m various material items to make new runes. Now if we were crafting runes, those two would be the same thing. One and two would be the same thing. So we're not crafting runes, we're crafting something else, right? That's what I'm- that's what I'm led to believe. I'm just it's, it's speculating right now, but... Uh, new words. Craft and homunculus. What the hell is a homunculus? Next two developer notes will be about craft and homunculus, so please stay tuned! Craft is a system where you can make various items, runes, and buildings using- Buildings! Because we saw the other buildings, I don't know if you guys are new to the channel or whatever, but we saw there was a leak with uh, icons and stuff like that. So you'll be able to craft buildings. Okay. I wonder if it's just, it's, I wonder if there's going to be cosmetic buildings too, that would be, that would be interesting, wouldn't be horrible. It'd be nice to have little island, like, make your island look a little different. Uh, make various items, what kind of items? Can you craft, like, XP boosters? Is that what they're talking about? Can you craft, like, uh, Rainbow Mon, or what? 
Uh, with the new rune update, you'll be able to select and craft the rune set of your choice. Okay. So we can craft... But like I said, the craft... I just said this a couple seconds ago. The craft seemed like it was something different than the runes. It's looking like that's correct. Uh, homunculus is a very special monster that's totally different from the fu- What? They can be summoned and strengthened via craft and they'll be playing a very important role in the game. So there's huge changes coming. I'll be covering more information on Homunculus in the next developer's note in the future. Please note we're running some final checkups regarding the content above, and therefore there may be changes to content when the actual service begins. Oh my god. I am... This is a huge difference. There's a huge... I don't know if this is one of those things where it's like, gonna just... And the game's gonna go downhill, or if this is gonna be like, Oh my god, this is exciting new content to keep the game going. I really hope it is, because we really need some new content. We really need new content. We're not getting the summonings. People are getting tired. Pokemon Go is coming out, or came out, and everyone's switching from... Because basically, let's, let's be honest. Summoner's War is like Summoner Pokemon, right? There's a lot of, there's a lot of Pokemon players playing Summoner's War, and now that Pokemon Go is out, everyone's like, Oh, Pokemon Go. Okay, bye-bye, Summoner's War. So, the, I, I, they have got to be hurting. They have got to be hurting from this. They have to make some big changes. These look like they're big changes. Is this going to be enough, or is this whole crafting system going to crap on the game and just be more tedious grind fest that we have to do? I'm curious. I'm curious. Homunculus being a special monster, that's interesting. I can't imagine what they would be what they would be doing. But now we have new things to do in the game! Which really I mean, it's good for me. I get to I get to make more content, I get to make more videos. We're gonna be able to make videos on five new Rift Dungeons. That's gonna be great. We're gonna I mean, as soon as this comes out, I don't know when it's gonna come out. Uh, we're gonna be able to see all this cool new content. You know you know that I'm gonna be covering as my, I'm gonna go crazy. Why do I look yellow? Why do I look yellow? That's a curious. I look yellow today. I got a new shirt, guys. Oh my god, Jubego shops the target. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. But this is very interesting. This is the most interesting that's thing that's come out in a while. We knew this is not new content that they've just started working on like a month ago. This is stuff that they've been working on for like six months plus. So, I mean, we, we, we knew that those things, those icons in the, in the Rift of Worlds, light, dark, fire, whatever, uh, wind and water, have been there for a long, long time. They've been working on the mechanics for that for a long, long time. Uh, I don't know if it's going to come out all at the same time, or if it's going to come out like one, one month, and then if we do this one, and then three months later, another one, and then three months later, that's horrible. That's the itch. At least make it, like, quick to come out one after another, because we don't just need one new one, and then three months before we get another one. We need, like, all the dungeons open, like, ASAP, or we need them, like, within, like, two weeks from... Two weeks is... St I still think two weeks is fine if we do, like, one thing, and then two weeks later they add the next dungeon, but... But those icons, like, the, uh, the buildings. The buildings we saw, I did videos before where there was, uh, leaked content where they had the icons for new buildings and the icons for like forges and things like that. They have a they have a warship, like a floating uh, airship that's uh, that's in the game too. So that's maybe, I really, I'm, I've been curious as to what the hell that is. So I really want to know what that's going to be. I really, really, really want to know what these things are. But I'm excited at least we're starting to get something else. Thank God, what was the last thing we even got? We got like the, the panda fusion. And we got, I feel like, oh, and then the real-time arena, which they took back. <laughs> real-time arena, which they took back. So the real-time arena is okay, and it's fun, and I want to do more content on that when we finally get it back. But this is going to be really cool because it's some more PvE content for the players that really don't want to do, because I know that a lot of you guys really don't like to do PvP. You're like, eh, I could care less about guild battles and arena. I do them but I really want to just build my monsters and like progress and TOA and progress in Giants and Dragons and Necropolis so and build a raid team so I know you guys are some of you guys are just really into the PvE I used to be like back in the beginning I used to be like super like oh PvE 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 and I was like I don't want to do arena no no and I did and now I love arena but that's a different thing that's 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 totally different 
I know you're like, yeah, yeah, Jubek, we, we, we've noticed that you like to do arena. I don't do too, too many videos on arena, but I do like to do arena, so. So, yeah. All right, guys. L let me know what you think about the... Uh, I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Let me know what you think in the... In the description below, in the in the comment. Oh my God! Stop text message. They only text message me when I'm recording. That's not true. I'm I'm making that up. But I am excited. I hope that it's. They've been developing it for long enough. I hope it's going to be good. It with the development time, it feels like it's had a lot of stuff put into it. So let's see. Let's see, guys. All right. I'll see you guys as always. Get excited. Get hyped. I'll see you guys. In the next video.